Hi there, I'm William Mack coming from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Did you know that you use two forms of electricity every day? Alternating current or AC is what comes to your home from your power company. Direct current or DC is what your phone or TV remote uses. And anytime you see a power brick or wall charger, you actually have both because those convert AC to DC. But what's the difference? And why do we have AC and DC? I'm glad you asked. It's not because engineers make things complicated, there are actually really good reasons. Let's start with DC power, because it's pretty straightforward. With DC power, the power supply provides a constant voltage. For example, USB outputs a steady 5 volts. The current only flows in one direction, from negative to positive. Even though the amount of current can change depending on how quickly we want the USB device to charge. Now let's talk about AC power. Remember that the A in AC stands for alternating. That's because the flow of current switches direction, or more specifically, alternates current. This is the type of electricity that flows into your home. In the US, the voltage cycles between plus and minus 120 volts at 60 hertz, or every 1 60th of a second. And because current is proportional to voltage, the current also alternates between positive and negative. You can also see this by looking at how current flows. With DC, current flows from the positive side of the supply to the negative side. With AC, the current flows back and forth. So we covered how AC and DC work, but there's still the question of why we have both. If you want all the details, look up the War of the Currents. At the simplest level, we use AC power because it can be easily stepped up or down using simple transformers. By stepping voltage up into the hundreds of thousands of volts, we can transmit the power at a lower current, and this reduces the amount of power loss and transmission. The voltage is then stepped back down into a more usable range of hundreds of volts that can be used in our homes. Meanwhile, DC is used in a majority of modern electronic devices. That's why most devices have a power adapter like this one. It takes the AC power in your home and converts it to DC power that your device needs. These devices might use or generate AC signals, but they operate from a DC supply. One reason is that transistors, the building blocks of integrated circuits, require a DC voltage. It's also worth noting that batteries output DC power, which is convenient for all of the portable electronics you use. If you want to learn more, visit our newly redesigned Engineering Center website and search the keyword Circuit Basics. You can also join our conversations by following us on our social media platforms. Coming to you from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I'm William Mack and remember to stay curious.